G'day, and welcome back to the Pillars of Ranternity. Last time round, we were exploring the keep, uh, and we'd just been stealing a bunch of stuff. We're in Defiance Bay. The keep in specific that we're talking about is Crucible Keep. And now it's time to actually, you know, have a bit of a chat with people rather than just steal all of their things. Oh, uh, that's right. We weren't allowed to steal that because, uh, We've already got the maximum camping gear. Uh, alright. So we can chat with Penhelm, but I think we'll chat with everyone else first. Let's start with Dunstan. If this is about the breastplates, I already told Cleaver they won't be repaired till next week. I already- I found several fragments of an ancient sword. Do you think you could repair it? This is a fine blade indeed. Looks a dear and special made. Must have been a commission for some sort of champion. A sword of this caliber would have had a specially designed hilt too. Be ashamed to graft anything else onto it. Besides, it'll balance, balance best with all the original pieces. You find the rest of it, and I'll forge it for you. All right, something else on your mind? I'm what do you do here? Master. I'm a master smith for the crucible. Oh, night. this is a forge, not a kitchen. See, that makes so much more sense. With our old traditions, the first members of our order were smiths. Nowadays, most everyone's a professional soldier. I suppose it's to be expected. But I think it's important we keep up with our roots, too. Tell me about that. Smiths back in Hodred's day. Though I'm about the only one here who still gets his hands dirty. We're a fearsome fighting force. Though these days, I think Cleaver takes more pride in our parade formations. Okay. He thinks himself a progressive man, but is obsessed with soul lineages and connection to Deerwood's heroes of old. Other than Donald Rowe, who really knows any about any of that, though? Bye. Alrighty. So, uh, we aren't talking to Penhold yet. We've been in here, but was there anyone with a name in here, or was it just a place to take things? Yep, and there's the Dunnies. Sweet. Alright, this place. We could perhaps actually talk to someone here, and not just steal all their stuff. Especially since we didn't steal all their stuff. Edict of Arrest. Uh, for Aeon, his recent actions led to a death. Interesting. Um, and in here, what's in here? That'll do it. Uh, got a tricorn hat and padded armor. That seems completely useless. But on the other hand, we got 90 XP for picking a lock, and we got a short history of the Crucible Knights, which we're not quite gonna do. Active patrols and reported crimes, ladder far outnumber the format, that makes sense. I don't really ever expect the um, police to outnumber the criminals, that seems... Or at least to outnumber the crimes committed. That seems kind of hopeful. And also a great way to then go, well why are we paying for so many policemen? Although I guess they, they serve purposes other than direct crime fighting. Now I think about it. Uh, okay. So. Let's chat with Wyla here, I guess. Yeah. Sup, Wyla? The Justicar's gaze flicks over to you briefly before returning to the novitiates gathered in the training area. If this is about the patrols, my novitiates are already stretched their limits. In between the reflex... Ah. Re refugee influx and the mess at Heritage Hill, I simply don't have any units to spare. I'm sorry, was there something else you need? Is there something wrong at Heritage Hill? What isn't wrong is a real question. A whole district of walking, flesh-eating corpses. We sealed the area two months ago, and I just after I lost one of the my finest commanders there, and yet this is the second guard rotation to disappear. There are already enough rumours about the places floating around the keep without my soldiers whispering about these disappearances. I'd just as soon abandon the district, but if those monsters should find a way out. I could look into it. After what I've just told you, you want to go into Heritage Hill? Heritage Hill? I've lost soldiers there. Why should I let anyone in? If people are disappearing, you got to, uh, someone's got to figure it out. If you're so eager to rush to your death, I won't stop you. And if you're somehow able to put a stop to this, you got my permission to enter Heritage Hill. I'll, s I'll send word to the guards. Tell me about it. It used to be one of the most prestigious districts in Defiance Bay, but a few months ago, residents all went mad, started eating each other, and anything else that had the bad luck to wander into the district. Never seen anything like it. 
Now every novitiate then scoured there. Everyone that comes back anyway talks of the stench of the grave and the groans of unspeakable horrors. The why and the how are questions of the animators. I've sealed the district in the hopes of containing whatever happened there. It seems to be working. For now. And what do you do here? That may also explain some of the undead in the sewers, I guess. Because that would arguably be spreading from Heritage Hill. Although we also encountered a necromancer in the sewers, so, you know, really. Um, yeah, and you train people. Sounds good. We got the Missing Centuries quest, and now we've got access to Heritage Hill. We'll still probably go to the keep and have a chat. But, uh, let's see, who else can we chat with? So over here, there is like an altar. This really feels like there's some clues to something we can put on there to do things. Uh, what does this say? Hey, I said, what does this say? Symbol of Abaddon, smooth and bright. Hmm, maybe something related to Abaddon that we can put there? Who knows? Let's go and chat with Cliver. There's nothing else around here that we cared about, right? Oh, beyond this edict of arrest for Aeon again. And that, sure. It's a quest item. So let's just check. Does this give us any quests? Do we have anything? Well, I think Aeon might have been one of the people we uh, uh, took back to our place. Not sure. Uh, Undying Heritage. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. So, Clive, how you doing? What's up? Refugees from every corner of the Deerwood. The dozens getting them all riled up about animancy. At this rate, we'll need twice the soldiers to patrol Defiance Bay. Yes? Can I help you with something? Why don't you have enough soldiers? Uh, Fleet Breaker Castle. The High Justice has summoned almost half of my novitiates and more of my justiciars to a keep on the other side of New Hailmar. It's not for me to question the High Justice's orders, but it's left us short-handed. And mark me, we're just a couple sparks away from anarchy. Wow, there's some great ones. Like, uh, is there any... Oh, let's go with, with so many newcomers. Can't you just recruit more soldiers? More recruits means more training, which means more time from experienced soldiers that I don't have. Anyway, I hardly see how any of this is your concern, but if you've got time to ask me about it, then perhaps you've got time to do something more constructive. Forge Master Dunstan's working with Nanomancer Scholar to build what we're calling Forge Knights. Warriors that can patrol our streets without suffering fatigue, disobedience, or fear. Some agitator throws rocks at him. We don't have to worry about things getting out of hand. He's constructed the armor, but we need the Scholar's research. Unfortunately, she hasn't been around the last few times my novitiates have checked. A Vienna list with the rest of the Scriveners out in Copper Lane, but I haven't had the soldiers to spare at the moment. Go to the Scrivener's dormitory and see if you can find her. When you get the research, just bring it to Dunstan. It's his area of expertise anyway. Animancy is tolerated in most parts of the Republics, but some, but some violins prefer the community in Defiance Bay for their research. I hope she hasn't been forced out of the city, or worse. Once you've brought him of the research, he can sell you any arms or armor you, if you have need. He forges and repairs all of our equipment. You won't find a more capable smith in Defiance Bay. Anything else I can do for you? Nah. That sounds good. Built to last. Yeah, we can go and do that. Let's get out of here. I think that's everyone, but um, I guess we could chat with Penholt. And this is about the Rogue Knight quest, right? Yes, find the heirloom breastplate. If you can prove the forgery, how would we prove the forgery? We've got the item in our stash if we go to quest items. His affidavit. Okay, so what we'd need to do is maybe look into that somehow. Let's do that rather than just go straight to him. I'll just leave and uh, we'll go to Copper Lane and then we'll go to Brackenbury probably to go to the Animancer's place kind of 
free up each of the pieces. Because we also need to see if we can get the scepter pad from Andra's gift. Alright, so we pop out down here, down here. So we head to Copper Lane. All good. If you can hear cats in the background, it's because they haven't been let outside and I'm not too pleased by this fact. Scrivener's Dormitories, that's over here. And Hall of the Mysteries Revealed is another place. I think I got a quest to do with the archives there. Um, it's in Burden of Memory, no. Dream of Memory, no. Um, where is it? Not Rogue Hunt. Time and Tide. Fragments of a Scattered Faith. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, it's in the Ducal Palace. Right, gotcha. Cool, cool. Need to try and remember to do these various character quests. I definitely want to do them. Um, I might look them up. Who knows? But right now, there's plenty of stuff to do here. Okay. Corin? Hello. I'm looking for Vienna. I like Vienna. She's always talking about metal men, which is strange, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't eat snowcap. I don't talk about metal men either, and I do eat snowcap. Huh. Anyway, she's not here right now. Flew away to Andra's gift to meet her friend Bessie. And a Klesia? Yes, Klesia. Klesia's a friend she's gone to meet. In Andra's gift. In a house. Not a boat. North house. Empty house. Andra's gift has a lot of boats. We should go rowing sometime. Okay. That is a thing that someone was saying. Let's look at her diary. Klesia arrives tomorrow. The way we departed after a visit, I didn't think she'd return. When I received the letter from Ozia, I expected the worst. The distance has been hard for her, and my focus on research hasn't made anything easier. Tomorrow, none of it will matter. The things we said, the things I didn't say, well, I'll have the chance to make it up to her. I wish we had more privacy, but for now there's the old house on the north side of Andra's gift, and it's still empty. Deal. Okay. And uh, looks like we got a new quest to send someone on. So... Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Morning Circle. A secret society of animancers have been traveling around the Reach. Let's send Kana. Uh, they perform, uh, promising to restore life to lost ones. They perform their rituals at clandestine meetings in various cities, never staying in one place more than a few days. Though some spark of life appears to be restored to the bodies they revive, authorities suspect the group behind is behind abductions, murders, vivisections, and other ghastly practices that appear to be required by their methods to make matters worse, those restored to life rapidly decompose or go mad within days of their resurrection. Concerned animances and various civic authorities are seeking help tracking down those responsible. Okay, great. And we'll get items and things from it. And we now need to head to where, what's it, the... To Andra's gift. Let's just have a quick check for anyone else with names around here. Because maybe, maybe they want to buy us stuff. You never know. Alrighty. Nope, no one here that wants to buy us stuff. And now we go on a bit of a walkabout. To Brackenbury first. Hello. Oh, wait. Why am I doing that? It's the nearest exit is the, as good as any exit because this has a world map. And what we actually want to do is leave an area so we get the world map. So now we go to Brackenbury. Takes us twelve minutes. Now we've gone so, there. Do you have feathers everywhere? 
It's Josie. You know, does your tiara match your tail fit? <laughs> I'm about to find out if your viscera matches your fur. Forget I said anything. I'd rather my I rather value my viscera. Nice. Alright. Cyril is ah uh, yes, she's the prostitute we helped Nadin. Hail traveler. Thanks again for your help. What's Wyden's legacy? It's the Hollowborn children. Yep, that's it. And um She's not helpful. Let's chat with you. Nothing. The Dunadro messenger. Never mind. You can sit there for a eternity for all I care. Let's keep going. Because I'm pretty sure that's like the main storyline quest. Um, or at least one of them. And I don't quite want to deal with it yet. Alright, now we're in the sanitarium. Let's find ourselves... Uh, oh, let's start by talking to Head Warden. Traveler. No one there that we can talk to that matters. Ordma? Well met, friend. Never mind. Okay, in here. Because there's so many more named people. Nads. Good day to you. I'm afraid I don't practice anymore, child. Too busy with my research. Uh, what do you do here? I'm an animat. So I used to venture on all kinds of underfunded, nil fated trips out of the expedition hall when I was your age. But lately, I've found research better suited to my current pace. He pats a creaking knee and laughs. Can I help you with something? Are you the animat who has been buying relics from Immortal? That chatty old fish has been blabbing about me. I see. She, I see. <laughs> Never trust your secrets to a man with so much salt in his beard. Anyway, let's see what you got. A model told you true. I'll buy this. Unfortunately, Broken Scepter isn't as valuable as he may have led you to believe. I'll take it off you for 500. You seem a little too excited. What aren't you telling me? Sharpen an imital, I see. The truth is, I could repair the scepter. It's broken, sure enough, but the pieces themselves are in good condition. Making it whole again is a matter of alchemy. Expensive alchemy. I gotta soak the broken ends in fiend's blood compound to reconnect them. Never mind the embalming work to restore the interment. I could do it to the tune of 1800 pounds. I'm giving you a rare opportunity to work with an with Scepter. Surely you can bring the price down. I, perhaps if you want to bargain and haggle with every dragon blood vendor and import merchant in the city. Very well. You can have the satisfaction of of working an old woman to an early grave for only 1500 1500 it is. I'll expect you want to watch and see that your money is put to good use then. Better get comfortable then. And after what feels like hours, she returns to main hall with you and presents the scepter. Looking at it, you'd never known it had been broken in the first place. This may be the finest work I've ever done, if I may say so. If I may say so. And thank you for giving me the opportunity. Examining a piece like that is a dream come do true for someone in my field. Take good care of it. Excellent. So we got the item, um, and that's it, right? That's now done. Yes, good. So, if we look at our character, I assume, it's not even magical at this point, really. With Inceptor, plus 20% attack speed for accuracy. So it's, it's lightly enchanted. Aloth, you're using the Guildmaster's stuff. And... Kurok's Brand, which is a wand, which gives you fireball and combusting wounds on hit or crit. Um, this does significantly more damage uh, and is two handed. It's fast. I mean, it actually doesn't do significantly more damage, but it is fast. Is there anything I can do? I was actually kind of hoping for something more than that. Um, I mean, you could reforge it to give it more stuff. We could give it slaying of some description. We could give it lash, which would uh, do damage. And that's it. Like, we can't afford to... Right, we don't have the level or money to, to just, like, make it legendary. All right. Well, that's kind of disappointing as, as a result of a quest, but sure, I guess. Um, and I'm going to stick with what he's currently got. Alright, well, that's that quest done. Good to have it sorted. 
So we've gone there. Uh, so now let's continue chasing our lady in Andra's gift. We've almost certainly been into the house that was mentioned. I mean, I, honestly, I don't think automatons are a great plan. But it's fine. And let's see. Come on. Okay, so abandoned house, abandoned house. So there's two there. It's not going to be otters and it's not going to be coal fakes because that was named. Ever tried vulture? We don't so... have Nazi talk. Your loss, they can eat anything, so their stomach juices <laughs> are sour and tangy, like ripe fruit. My loss indeed. Delightful. Alright, what's here? Is this the attic house? Because I don't think you're going to get much privacy there. No, this is Colfax. I'll see what I can find. Interesting that none of this is stealing. Okay, yeah, that's great. I don't care. Um, I thought we went into the abandoned house, not Colfax house. Come on. Ah. Now you gotta wait for the map to load. This game definitely gets worse and worse with map loading. Right, now abandoned house is this one, obviously. So again, I really hope this is the right place, mostly because I don't want to have to wait for the load for a tiny, like a very brief check. But this is all addicts, so nope. Sigh. Back out we go. I wonder how many, like, I've never heard anyone talking about this game and using multiple grimoires for their wizards. Like, it's definitely meant to be a viable tactic. But, I don't know, like, as I said, I've never seen it happen. Maybe if you deliberately wanted to set up, like, a spellbook against a certain enemy, I don't know. Just don't know why you do it. Ah, yeah, okay. Hey, that door's closed. I'm pretty sure we had it open. As you enter the room, you see several figures huddled together. They stand at attention armed, but not in matched gear like crucible knights. At the center, one... Of the group, one woman looms over another, holding a flail. She snarls at the cowering figure. You've got pages of research here. You expect me to believe this is just your scratch work? It's nothing. I promise. I promise. Just my notes. We know you're meeting with the Crucible Knights. They think you're the only ones... You think they're the only ones with power in the city? They call us the dozens for a reason. Now, I won't ask you again. At a nudge from one of her men... Uh, from one of her men, the woman turns and sees you watching. Her eyes narrow. You shouldn't be here. What's going on here? Nothing you need to know about. Well, that is inconvenient. Let's start with murdering people. Okay. So. You are currently... Yes, so I need to actually kill with you. So, I need to get through. Well, fine. We'll just kill you then. Uh... Where am I? Oh, right. I'm actually stuck. Come on. Just let me... Okay, good. Ah. Like... Turn into a bear. Or a cat. Or something. In the meantime... Let me at him! Look, just... You need to kill Tadwina. Great. Now... Ah! Nope. Good. Because, as I recall, 
This thing needs... They need to kill 10 more humans with it specifically. Um, what's the bet that I technically killed it with something else? That's the pain. Vianna's face is covered in bruises and her eyes are wide with shock and relief. I, I don't know who you are, but the thank you. Rapid hitching breaths punctuate her words. I was sure they were going to kill me. She wipes a tear from her cheek, wincing as her knuckle grazes a bruise. What happened here? I thought I was coming to meet my... Uh, Friend from the Republics, looks like I walked into a trap. The dozens must have been watching me for a while. I've been working on a special project for the Crucible Knights, and they weren't exactly subtle about contacting me. Tell me about yourself. I studied Animancy Nazia back in the Valian Republics. I came to Defiant Bay to re research local advances, but instead of going to Brackenbury Sanitarium, I found a position as a discriminator at the Temple of Whale. I've had access to many rare man manuscripts that most Animancers never see. Of course, I've had to keep my head down. i been careful not to let the head librarian or my colleagues know what I'm working on. About this project. It deals with a rather rare branch of animus. No offense, but I probably shouldn't get too specific without Commander Cliver's permission. He commissioned it, after all. And you can see the trouble a little indiscretion has gotten me into. Let's get out of here. Commander Cliver and the Crucible Knights is waiting on my research. Not that they haven't already done a lot for me, but maybe you could take it to him? I kept it with me to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands, but you can see how well that worked out. Anyhow, uh, she took it from me when I arrived. Anyhow, don't wait on me. I can make my own way out of here. Okay, cool. So we will take all their shit. Uh, oh, hello. Let's give you that. And we'll have a look at it in a moment. And here's the research. Yep. Study of animats. And the, on the first page is a note to someone called Dunstan. Dunstan. We've seen that. Oh, right. Yes, of course. That's the... Uh, guy at the forge. Alrighty, so first step is look at that armor. Hello. So this is plus one move speed, minus fifty percent recovery speed, um, which is not great. Fairly high DR, plus ten deflection against range attacks. It's the oh arrow breaker. Uh, yeah. Okay, so good against arrows, obviously. And it is, in theory, as good as Palagina's Breastplate. Okay. I think I'm happy with the current ones, then. Speed and range deflection is nice, but ideally she'll already be hitting ping people closer to. Alright, so that's that done. We then can head back up to First Fires, hand in that quest. And next time round, we will go to Heritage Hill. Good. Uh, there's another drunken sailor. Alrighty, Heritage uh, first fires, then Heritage Hill. And first fires, we can expect to fight a lot of zombies. Too many zombies, really. Just can't seem to get away from them in games these days. Alright. Get us in there. Thank you very much. And now we go straight to Dunstan. I wonder if one of the things I, I mean, one of the things I could do would be to get rid of resolution and replace it with a shield, just for the time being, while I try and push this up. Definitely would decrease the amount of damage I was doing. Let's have a look at my shield options. I guess it's, I'm stuck with that. Uh, enchantments, high to low, high to low, and then... We could just grab Sura's supper plate. Retaliation, eh? I'll keep that in mind. Is that really the only magic shield we've got that isn't assigned to someone? Alright. Well. well. Let's do that. I mean, definitely not what we normally use, but 
It'll be fine. Alright. Dunson. Could have sworn this was the kitchens, but nope, that does definitely look like a forge. Something else on your mind? Commander Clever said you're working on it with Nanomats so real forge knights. Talk of secrecy. I, I'm building Cleaver's metal warriors. He says they're what we need to keep order and defiance bay, so... How are you creating these forge knights? Suits of armor and souls. Clive has had me repairing and reinforcing unused armor for months, just so he can fill them with some poor sword's essence. As long as that skull of girl's got her numbers right, infusing an armor with a soul, that's not that hard, but that's not what bothers me. Do you disagree with him about the knights? I disagree with him on near about everything, and this is no exception. Those forge knights won't solve our manpower problem. He can call them what they want, but they aren't knights. It doesn't take Itamark's nose to smell the trouble here. A group that can't stand together is headed for a fall. And don't get me started on the other problem. Those souls he's brought to power the Forge Knights. Clive keeps telling me they come from willing donors, but he knows better. There's a reason you have to buy souls through less than legal channels. We should be clearing those scavengers off the road, not doing business with them. Willing donors? Now there's a laugh. I've known plenty of folk willing to donate their lives, but I've never seen despair so dire one of them would give up their soul. And you need Viana's research to complete it. She's been working on a method to transfer the souls into the armor. Getting the process just right is critical. Bind the souls too tightly and you get something like those flesh constructs at the sanitarium. Barely bright enough to avoid walking the wall. But bind them too closely and they'll be too self-aware for their own good. Mad killers and metal bodies. Alright, um... So we can give him the research. I sent you down here to get me working on those forge knights, eh? I think this is what you've been looking That's for. What Cleaver's been looking for anyway. If you found it, I guess I've got to start. You don't sound too happy about this. I'm not, and I'm not surprised someone and I'm surprised someone as strong willed as you is going along with it. Made it clear to Clever that this is a mistake. Try to harness souls like this, it's a crime against the gods, it's bound to earn us more trouble than it saves. Clever's given me these orders, so I've gotta build these things as best I can. Anyway, Clever's told me uh, they say Cleaver, I should say Cleaver. Cleaver's told me to sell you any arms and armor you might want. You won't find any better find better anywhere in Defiance Bay, I can now, promise you that. that Alright. So yeah. I guess there's another way to finish the quest. I guess talk to Cleaver. To be honest, even I wasn't expecting it to work this well. Back to it. Cleaver will want me to finish the rest of them. And it sounded like he has a job for you too. Show me what you have for sale. The white... Uh, I wanted to see what the white spy is. It's a two-weapon sword that inflicts disorienting and ha does blizzard. Yeah, okay, that sounds pretty nice. Anything else? Heldrick's coat. Sturdy, freeze and um, freeze-proofed. Uh, and damage reduction. That could be quite useful. Um, anything else? Shot in faith. Consecrated ground when hit by a critical hit. What does consecrated ground do? Ah, it's a healing AoE. It's an interesting one. I quite like that idea. Let's grab it for uh, our lady in feathers. I don't think Hendrick's coat is worth it. Alright, yep, let's do that. And we got the money to to waste, so have a better sword. Oh, this actually does less damage, but it um, does the DR bypass, which probably will be more helpful. Um, Fifteen to twenty-one, and this is eighteen to twenty-five. Yeah, okay. So this does do slightly less damage, but bypasses more DR. So it depends who we're fighting against, and she doesn't have that. Uh, so yeah, that seems good. And we could also enchant it further if we wanted, so we could make it better. Um, we could make it, it uh, Durgan refined, which would probably help. Or we could add some secondary damage, we could make it fine. Let, you know what, we got plenty of this stuff. Let's make it a fine weapon as well. So now we're back up to 20 to 28. So that was really the difference. Alright, cool. 
And this is also slow. Yeah. Cool. That's that sorted. And so next time around, I guess we'll talk to Cleaver. Until then, have a great day. Bye.